Welcome to my presentation. Before I start, let me give a brief introduction of myself. My name is Mahi Mikan Binti Ali Mikan. My metric number is A138417 and I'm a student of the Faculty of Hospitality, Tourism and Wellness. My presentation today is about Irate Hotel Sudan Rahat. Let's start by getting to know about Irate Hotel Sudan Rahat. Ivey Hotel St. Jambu Hut is a private company which specializes in the lodging or accommodation sector which are located in Penang and Pahang. This business provides hospitality services which offers rooms, suites, meeting halls and dining. The hotels are namely Ivey Hotel Kosmo Alma, Ivey Hotel Bayu Mutiara, Ivey Hotel Sebrang Jaya, and Irit Hotel Bandar Perda, which is situated in Penang, and are all two star hotels, whereas Irit Hotel Kuantan in Pahang is a three star hotel. The Irit Hotels in Penang are budget hotels, whereas Irit Hotel Kuantan is a more luxury type of hotel, and the only hotel that provides breakfast. Irit Hotel can stay with fulfilling the needs of guests who seeks for an affordable accommodation for both, both business and leisure stay. Furthermore, the hotel is strategically and corporately situated in a leading and prominent business and leisure area, which is a convenience for guests to move about the major towns and places of attraction. Moreover, Hewitt Hotel St. Denver Park emphasizes entirely on the comfort of its guests. It is further strengthened by the creation of the slogan Guest Comfort is our legacy at Ebay Hotel. Ebay Hotel business philosophy is to provide a more classy accommodation and friendly amenities and facilities to each of their customers. The best services are provided for the guests and the best could be expected in the hospitality industry. Finally, a home away from home concept is implemented by the hotel provide a cozy and homely feel the same way they feel at home. The departments I was involved in are the Accounts Department, Sales Department and Human Resource Department. In the Accounts Department, my tasks were mainly to help key in data such as sales and GST in accounting system. Help to check the payroll so that the accurate amount of pay is calculated for each of the employees. Apart from that, I was required to do proper filing and labeling for all the files in the office. Every month, I was required to key in the amount of utility bills such as telecom, TNB, and PPA bills in Microsoft Excel. In the sales department, my job scope was to double check the hotel sales receipts and to report any miscalculations to the higher management. Whereas in the human resource department, my job was to assist the head department in calculating the salary and target sales for each of the hotel employees. Moreover, I was also required to double check the calculations of EPF and SOPSO in the payslip. Finally, as the personal assistant to the employer, I was required to take minute meetings, memorandum, letters, guideline books, and make meeting schedules. During the four month internship program, I had contributed my skills and knowledge in various aspects. Firstly, I contributed in creating three guideline books for the housekeeping department, the front office department, and the food and beverage department. The Red Hotel didn't have any guidelines for the employee to follow, making it hard for them to understand their job scopes. These guidelines have indeed helped in this area and also in making the company to have a proper system and guidelines. I was also required to translate rental agreement from English to Malay. It was quite difficult as I am not familiar with the terms in law, but after doing some research, I was able to complete it. I also contributed in making important business letters and memos for the operations of the hotel. Moreover, I have also contributed in giving out my ideas for the improvement of the hotel. Finally, I contributed in helping all the departments 
enlighten their work paths and to get the job done on time. I was also able to make the office department be more organized in terms of arrangement of tasks, labels, and so on. However, there are several challenges faced during this four month internship program. As it was my first time working in the headquarters, I wasn't accustomed to the working ethic and procedures in the office. This led to several mistakes in handling certain documents. Besides, in university, we are exposed to theory learning, but when we join the workforce, practical knowledge to handle situations are crucial. As an intern, I lack in the practical knowledge of the business and took time to adapt. Moreover, there are times when each of the department gives me tasks without instruction. This made it difficult for me and took longer time to finish it without proper guidance. Finally, the most challenging situation faced is when my employer always gives a task late and expects me to finish it fast. It is indeed a struggle for me as I need to skip lunch at times to get the job done. There are several added values that I acquired during my 4 month internship program. The value obtained are working as a team, work hard and never give up, always improve, help each other, respect the superiors, being independent and being responsible. Finally, let us proceed to the interview session with the manager Mrs. Tamarai who was my industrial supervisor throughout my 4 month of internship. Mrs. Samurai, may I ask you a few questions? Yes, sure. Please proceed. Can you tell me your job position and the number of years you have worked here? I'm an operation manager for all the hotels but I'm assigned to handle E-rate hotel, Alma. I have joined this company for 4 years now since 2013. Oh, so based on your observation and experience throughout the years, what is the main element for success of the hotel industry? I think our loyal customers as well as to attract new customers as well. What are the challenges you had to face as a hotel manager? There are actually five challenges that I need to face. The first challenges are finding, training, scheduling and managing staff. It takes time and effort to build that team and to keep it going. Secondly, I have to face with some irrelevant customers complaint where they expect your staff is doing a great job. You still have to inspect. Fourthly, I have to keep the hotel as full as possible. It's essential to making budgeted revenues. Finally, I have to look at invoices and to make sure I'm charged correctly and that my inventories are in line for everything from paper goods to lining to food. I also have to be aware of theft of money and product from both guests and staff. Okay, so what is your secret of success? Oh, that's easy. My secret of success is to make sure that everything is organized from the small to the big matter. No last minute job, of course. So, uh, for lastly, I want to ask you, what are your advice to me? I would advise you to keep being the same and completing the job well. I do see that you have the potential in managing your own business someday. Oh, thank you, Mr. Tamarai. I do appreciate it and thank you for the brief interview session. Oh, the pleasure is all mine.